Hello, I'm Renee. I'm here with Hipwitch. This might be the last episode, but I've said that in the two previous episodes, so I have no idea. I have no... I've given up on this game ever ending. What do you think of this? Of what? Pretty close and my eyes aren't what they used to be. Here, what are we talking? This hallucin... Hallucinogen? Mind if I... No, 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 no. You got the wrong idea. Damn, okay. Not a witch. It's probably with a hippie, because she's the farthest away from us. I knew it wasn't going to be her, because she was too fucking close. If I'm being completely honest with ya. She might give us the witchy wipes, but she ain't a witch. This game likes to make likes to make me run as much as possible. It's never ending journeying in this game. You get to watch me just walk around, kind of like a fool. I'm gonna go to a scientist friend who I don't think is a witch, but. We'll have that conversation, I guess. Who would be our witch? The duck? Oh my god, it's totally the duck. Look what I found. Is this supposed to be some, be of some importance? Take another look. Tell me you don't know what that is. I have no idea what this is. If I had to theorize, perhaps a blend of various fungi. It certainly has a strange... For absolute lack of better word, an aura. That can't be it though. There has to be an explanation. Do you mind if I take a sample to study? Well, she definitely isn't a witch. Sorry, but I have to get going. Maybe you can get a sample another time. I'm gonna run away. I knew that. That was dumb. Pretty sure it's not of hippie friend either. It's gonna be the mother duck, isn't it? I think she's the farthest away at this point. Which is gonna be kind of hilarious. I don't know she fits in too. If we, if it doesn't turn out that the you know, suspect isn't someone we've met yet. Hi, are you our witchy friend? I have been running around this park for whoever knows how long, raiding mines, talking to animals, fixing vending machines. All to find out I'm not even the only witch in this park. I've gone to the effort of recreating. Oh, that's mine. Really? Yeah. I guess I'm a witch. So you... It's Winifred. Oh, Winnie for short. Winnie? It was... Oh, Fred. Someone call me that. Some people, some people call me that too. Okay, but I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt him. I was only trying to change his mind. I'm sad that it wasn't the mother duck. That would have been funny. He... I... I didn't want him to do anything silly. I didn't want anyone to get hurt. I've been practicing a calming spell. It's okay, Winnie. You think I haven't slipped out or made some, anyone faint before? You're a witch, a late boomer, clearly. But that's amazing, honestly. Thank you for trying to help back there. That's kind, but I didn't exactly pick up witchcraft out of the goodness of my heart. I just wanted to get out of this place. My friends in the caravan, we were never meant to stay here this long. We were meant to be free, living life day to day on the road. They lost sight of that. This park, it's beautiful, but it's just another cage now. They won't even let me hear it. And they won't even hear me out. I don't want to be a witch. I never wanted that. But if I can change their minds, open their eyes again, we'll be back on the road in no time. That's the idea, anyway. The park ranger was practice. Why don't you just leave? Maybe they're happy here. Which honestly would be surprising, but hey. Is anyone happy here? It's just comfortable. They're my best friends. They took me under their wing. People grow apart, Winnie. Not us. I'm not giving up on them. You can help me. You're a real witch. You can help me, can't you? Influencing minds like that is a little taboo in the witch world. It can get messy. Relax. You're already reading minds, aren't you? 
Okay, maybe mind reading isn't exactly great, but it's not full on charming people either. I just want them to listen prom, that's all. I need us to find ourselves again. <sighs> okay, I'll help you. I knew you were cool. Thanks. Thank me if it works. These things never turn out though like you would hope. Anyway, let's get to the nitty gritty. You, you're evidently capable, uh, so I'm gonna help you pull this off. First thing you need to know, spellcraft isn't just about raw ingredients. It can be enhanced or altered by external influences. In this case, we're gonna need something specific. A lot of surprise possession, something of great importance to your friends. Easy, the grinder. Like a coffee grinder, but it's well and truly lost. I haven't seen it in days. Wait, a coffee grinder? Oh, oh, I see. I get to run around again. Well, we're gonna need it to find we need to find before we do anything else. Last I saw, we were hiking through the woods past that lock gate. I know exactly where it is. It's in the old woman's hat. Great, more running. I love running around in this place. Absolutely adore it. Ugh. Good lord. I don't even. Oh. My dog came into my room. She was very loud to me, at least. I don't know if you even heard it. Yep. Here we are. Good lord, at least that wasn't so long. It wasn't the longest run. At least, and the good part was that I actually knew what I was doing. The worst part is when it literally doesn't even give me a hint. Give me the coffee grinder, thank you. Yep, definitely not coffee though. Time to bring this back to Winnie. Yep, let's go. I'm not gonna even talk to you. I'm taking the coffee grinder and running. Also, the fact that it just walked into your little hut and you didn't even say anything. Kinda weird. Man, do you just let everyone walls, walls into your house and not say anything? It feels kind of weird. Uh, so much running. At least I didn't have to go to the waterfall. I'm trying to cheer myself up, if you didn't notice. It's literally going, but it could be worse. But it could be worse. Here we go. You found it? Hmm, of course. Someone borrowed it. Can we get this over with then? Not quite, sorry. Where you can you cast a spell is just as important as everything else. So why wasn't the waterfall suitable for mixing your um, elixir, I wonder? I didn't choose the location because of the waterfall. I chose it to do it near the old tree stump, not far from the waterfall. I thought it felt powerful. Huh. It could be a place of power, though they are very rare. I'll take a look. Uh, maybe from there I can figure out why it wasn't suitable. Thank you for doing this prom. Come on, no, it's no picky. I can't just leave a wet fellow witch hanging. Not really a witch. Not like you. You'll see. Ugh. Let's go. I you you don't have to see this. I'm not gonna make you see this. I'm gonna run around alone. Hey, I'm here. That's great. Hi. What am I doing here again? Oh, right. Trying to convince Prince Avam to join a petting zoo. Zoo. Who thought this was a good idea? Welcome prom. Okay. A second wait. No. Shut up. Why, this must be the tree stump Winnie was talking about. It certainly is old. Winnie is right though. This stump is definitely emitting some kind of energy now that I think about it. Something isn't quite right about this area though. I'm... Not just sure what it could be. If you heard that, that was laughing. I had to check. 
well I had to listen in all that for a little while to make sure that it wasn't crying in pain something isn't quite right about this area though I'm not sure what it could be I promise was laughing you probably didn't hear it though but that's fine I should search for areas like this. Maybe there are other really old uh, three tree stumps. Oh yeah, we looked at them before. Can we get the music back? Thank you. So I like that game. I have games have been doing like pretty versions of those hairless cats. Like I used to think they're ugly. I feel like that's such a horrible thing to say, but there have been better pictures nowadays and that there have been better like portrayal of them and I feel like yeah that's pretty pretty kitty. Just because you don't have hair doesn't mean you're ugly, little kitty. Everyone to be honest. <laughs> yeah. There's a tree stump. This is an old one too. I guess... Hey. I... I talked about the uh, tree stumps. You know. I thought it was weird that in they've been talking so much about them. But something about this energy is a bit flat and stagnant. I'll keep looking. I knew. I basically knew that. It's way too fucking close. It's probably the tree stump that is the farthest away from the place that we were at. Because this game fucking hates me. Good lord. It would be a super... Okay, we're gonna have to go down there to check because I am afraid. Nope, this isn't going to do. It is old. It has some kind of energy to it, but it's lacking something. Something about the waterfall. Yeah, it's the lake. It's a lake stump. It's a lake stump. It's the farthest away, isn't it? Good lord. I'm just gonna go straight to the lake dump. <laughs> stump, not dump. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Oh, good lord. Where is that entrance there you are? And I'm literally losing my voice over here. Nothing to say about that one. Alright, is it this one? Whoa! An almost perfectly balanced place of power. Right here in little old Bowling Park. No wonder the waterfall on the stump wasn't suitable. The water wasn't calm enough. The serenity of the lake should help her next potion. I hope she's ready to what's to come. I know what went wrong. And I think I found the fix. I knew you would. Let's get this over with. Don't you want to know more about this stuff? How this stuff works? I'm not like you, Prom. I'm not a real witch. I just want to go back to having fun with my friends. Just remember, it might, what, not work? They're my best friends, Prom. This spell won't change people's minds. It's just, it'll help them listen. Trust me, that's all I need. How do we start? Did we do it? That's all that it was? The energy of the waterfall wasn't calm enough? How did you even know that? It's hard to describe. A little bit of deduction meets a witch's intuition. Mostly just a feeling. With time you'll learn to feel it too. If you practice. Yeah, maybe. Anyways. You sure you're not gonna have any issues with getting this potion close to them? It's not easy to hide something like that in a small caravan. <laughs> hide it? I'll have more trouble making sure they don't drink it all. Relax, Pro. I've got this. I'll be just outside, Winnie. <clears throat> Good lord. Am I gonna go uh, hide to my f friends? T animals? You don't look so good, Winnie. Should we sit down? I had a feeling. I have a feeling that these guys are gonna travel together then. Hmm. No idea what hmm means. Didn't go your way, huh? 
I got my wish, I suppose. They heard me out, and I guess we don't want the same things anymore. The old ways days are gone. You can say, I told you so, if you like. I'm sorry. I was really hoping you guys would find your spark. If it makes you feel better, I haven't found mine either. I don't even know what I'm doing here. Bowling Park was only made to be a pit stop. Every time I thought about moving onward, I found another reason to stay. Yeah, this place does that. I've been on the road, I've got this power, and what good has it done anybody? We're all still lost. That's a pretty picture. What do you think finding yourself looks like, Prom? Driving off into the sunset? <laughs> Maybe rolling credits? My friends and I had that moment, but you can't just stay there forever. I want to jump into that lake. Then you've got to find and find the next one. Moments die. I forgot that lesson. We all did. Until you showed up. You gotta let the moment die, huh? That's what I remind you of. You don't sit around waiting for a miracle. You make miracles. Sometimes out of mushrooms. So do you, sweetheart. So do you. And not because you're a witch. <laughs> I've never seen this place so alive. So I think you're gonna be just fine. You really make would make a good witch, Winnie. It's about time I left this place. You should probably go too. See you around, witch girl. Alright. Am I gonna... Is that roll, roll credits? Oh, we got a cat friendo. And we got the witch... New leaf witch friendo too. Yes, I knew it. You don't have any more possessions. I mean, you're a hippie, I guess. Why are you taking up so much space? Why am I crammed in there? Cash, he's so cute, Romulus. I was glad to meet you, Romulus. I'm sad to see you go. Hip witch. Thank you. That was nice enough. <laughs> nice enough. I mean, a lot of running. Alright. As the manager of its new petting zoo, the zoo petting zoo became one of the most unique in the region, gathering nationwide attention for its humane treatment of pests. Stu lived his best life. I'm glad. Alright. I guess I'm, we're watching the credits. result the ecologist left for the city. She went on to enjoy a successful career but remained bothered by many unexplainable events at Bowling Park. She would eventually pursue this curiosity in process finding the new science of magical studies. Founding? Probably not finding. That's nice. That's great. What kinds of... No shoes, no shirt, no worries. The hermit remained at Bowling Park. Even after its reopening, she continues to enjoy life's simple pleasures, such as watching tourists get lost in the wilderness. <laughs> That's nice. No shoes. I feel like you're gonna get wounds like that, but fine. Whatever you wanna do. After Prom's help, Jerry gave his family mu some much-needed quality time. He promised his wife and kids to be more attentive and only stay at the park overnight if he really had to. Jerry can often be found in swimming in the lake nude. He has learned absolutely nothing. What about our superintendent? Did he ever, ever get better? After the re-emergence of tourists, Mother Duck took the opportunity to travel across cross country to visit her children. Before returning to her travels, Mother Duck met a handsome pelican. She's become quite fond of him. Alright. Pelican. An odd pair, I suppose. What about the superintendent? Come on. Prince Evan and his uh, cohort eagerly joined the Bowling Park Petting Zoo. There they joined the adoration of strangers and the care of parks to rangers too. Prince Evan went to re-announce his royal status. 
At first, the hedgehog and friends were hesitant to join the petting zoo. After much deliberation, they eventually did. With time, the hedgehog warmed the puck arranges too, and the two began inseparable. Okay, don't eat the cat. Aww. That's nice. Something changed in the superintendent the day he met Prom. He finally started taking the park into his own hands. Rumor has it, he and his ex-wife are talking again. Ugh. Fine. Was that it? Welcome. At least the welcome sign was put back. With duct tape. Beautiful. Wait until that thing falls on someone, I suppose. Do I need to press something? It, was that it? Is that thank you for playing? Thank you for making the game. I mean, it has had its bad sides, like a lot of running, unnecessary running. Like you, it made you notice that it was making you run back and forth. Like some things could have been done with like I'm gonna take you there instead of you know run there again and again and again and back and forth and sometimes like some of the hints that could have been there were missing but other than that it was a nice game and it was a free game so i can't ask too much of it but i hope you like the series i hope you subscribe to see what else i have i have a lot of other series you can watch too and I hope you liked the game and me playing it. Thank you for watching. And I'm going to end this before I ramble on further. Hope you have a good day. Bye.